thank you for the knee kiss. I've just been I've just been waiting for a knee kiss. You know, I was like, dang, where's Gizmo? I need my, my knees kissed. Knees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gonna act like this just didn't happen. This is why I said I'm gonna start to vlog because I'm way too awkward to not. <laughs> I'm on my way to go get my makeup done. I think we're going to the water gardens. So my parents made some gumbo with rice and it has like the works in it. It has sausages, chicken, they put okra in it. There's shrimp, there's tomatoes. Like there's so much stuff packed in this and I am so hungry. So I'm gonna eat this on the way and then um, touch base with you. I don't know, I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm getting my life together. I need to hurry up and go so we can have a lot of daylight to shoot with and not have to use like flash or anything like that, which it might still kind of be cool at night but I wanna, I wanna be seen, I wanna be seen, so. So here with Tessa. She just, <laughs> she just beat my face, right? Look at it, this is gonna come off, don't worry. It's just holding down the edges. <laughs> I've been seeing that number four again a lot today, you guys. It's been really strange. I just had to call that out. I always see this number all the time. It's really weird. Four? Oh. We're taking the train station. station. Yes, sir. This is probably like the second time in my entire life that I've taken the train station. But I'm so really excited for this. Look at that beautiful sunset. Look at these beautiful colors matching that beautiful sunset. Thank you so much. It's great. Yes, thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. So he is, this is three. Yeah, that's what it was. That sucks. Yeah, I knew he was. So we're gonna get lost and we're probably gonna get kidnapped and not being able to make it back. <laughs> when people are always like, so I've never actually done this before. I feel they tell you all the things they have done. I'm just kidding, I'm just I'm just throwing out all my fears. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm not gonna say I think she's lost. <laughs> no, you're fine, don't worry. <laughs> so I'm feeling like I'm in a New York train station right now. This is kind of cool. She's so ethereal. We're the same street. My bad, that was my fault. I own that one. I don't know. Photo time!
great experience shooting around like random spot. Ooh, this lighting. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. We just <laughs> That's great. Give me your okay, phone. So we, all right. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's great. Oh snap! Oh, that's some good honey. Oh yeah, I need that in my room. Let me just borrow that one. Yeah, I think one would be good. One would be good. I feel like it's legal to drop that. I feel like it would be. a great experience for me. This makeup is still like holding up right now. It's great. I can't stop looking at it. I just want to go to sleep and not move. So it's still like this <laughs> tomorrow. I was so tired. My old ass just could not handle yesterday's events. It was like we went on adventures and I just hadn't, I've been under a rock for a very long time. Nine or ten, because I was like, if you don't give me my treat and stop talking, she acts a little sassy. Gizmo, I'm sorry I didn't give you your treat. All right, let's get this show on the road. to take sentimental tidbits away from every event that I have with people so I'm searching for it right now but I know I have the day pass the ticket for the train that we went on for the photo shoot here it is and I just I want to put it on my vision board I like to keep you know little tidbits above my desk as a reminder of where I'm going where I've gone things like that I don't know it's just it's refreshing as you see there's a lot going on in my vision board The rest of my vacation, I pretty much just spent it redoing my world. I really like to clean, reorganize my space. I had a lot of makeup to put away from the photo shoot that I never got to. I just have to reset. I get to points in my life where I'm just going and going and going and just literally letting life kind of control me instead of me controlling the direction of my life. So staycations are vital for me is what I discovered. Every time I tell people I'm taking a vacation, they're like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to my world and I'm going to go fix it. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> Felt really good. resources I need right now to succeed. I repeat that to myself over and over again. It's something that I've like reshaped my mind to believe and every time I'm lacking something it seems to just like literally fall on my lap. It's amazing. So I have all the resources I need right now to succeed. So I'm heading out. We're trash if we keep trash in the middle of our street. So I don't understand what's going on in this neighborhood. This is like the first thing I've done for myself to I don't, get my life together. I don't know. There's just barriers I know that I cannot overcome and I can't do what everyone else is doing and succeed how everyone else is succeeding. It's been a frustrating journey. I have a lot of insights like there's a lot of things that I'm very aware of about myself it's just taking action and having confidence and, and doing this shit you know I, there's just so much that she doesn't know and so much that I haven't said and we still have to discuss and I'm great about, I'm very very happy with the first session so um, especially when you come with an open mind and ready to like work like when you're aware of the things that you know you have a problem with and you're ready to work on them that's when you thrive and that's when things start to get better you know so um that's my goal and i'm probably gonna go home i have one more off day planned tomorrow for my staycation which i haven't been staying i've been out every single day i had a photo shoot yesterday i'm supposed to have a studio sesh today with lottie i haven't heard from him so i'm not too sure i have a movie date tonight and then i go back to work tomorrow in the afternoon so my staycation is going to be over soon but this is exactly how I had planned this vacation. I wanted it to be productive. I wanted to invest in my brand. I wanted to get some organizing done, some editing done, um, just a lot of digital work because I wanted that to manifest in me and tweak my mind to remembering, hey, you want to do this full time. You want to be on Skillshare and YouTube full time. You don't want to clock in and have the traditional job. You can do things differently. Interesting, right? Remember that little thing that was uh, in the middle of the street? Interesting how there's so many neighbors just out and about, you know, garages open and whatnot, out in their yard and whatnot. But that trash is indeed in our yard. Hmm, interesting. Here's your phrase. You wanna go by your side? Come on, let's go by your side. So I barely just got home from watching uh, the new uh, Clint Eastwood movie. So I prepared a little gumbo rice tortilla chip <laughs> plate. The gumbo is like all packed and everything. And I kind of just want to curl up with my laptop and indulge. I really don't want to do any more editing or any more work. And I might just wake up super early. I know I have to get my breaks fixed, but I just want to actually spend some time relaxing tonight. So. I think that's my plan for the rest of the evening and uh, probably just wake up early. Tomorrow's my last day of my vacation. I'm feeling pretty sad. I'm feeling pretty sad. So I've kind of been up my alarm since like, maybe like 5.45. I let my alarm go off and then I think and I talk to myself and I'm like, Am I tired? No, I'm kind of, I'm pretty awake. I went to sleep fairly early last night. What do I want to do? Oh, yeah. I am awake right now. Um, I have a 9 a.m. So I have a 
a few hours to play with. I'm gonna go get some coffee first really quickly um, and get some fresh air and then come back and tackle all of this. So yeah, you have all the resources you need to succeed today. Everyone goes 50 or 60. And if you're not going 50 or 60, they're passing you without signaling and giving you the eye. Like how dare you go the speed limit? Who are you? <laughs> around in these pots doing speed limits and shit. confidence if that makes sense but not like that external confidence to where you see it and you feel it and you know I'm believing in myself I'm still working on my belief system and my value my worth like I can hear people tell me but why you know working on it I've been asking for help with it because I know it's something that I do struggle with vacation oh it's still raining it is meet obsessed with lobby so i'm currently walking to his car right now i think we're supposed to end up shooting the podcast Somebody. the vibe right now <laughs> this vibe oh, this is the i'm waiting for dad <laughs> so with lobby <laughs> Look at this freak. This is how disappointed I am. I end up getting rid of my camera because look at this quality. This is pretty good. It's, it's ridiculous. What yeah. the fuck? Why do you my even need like... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here's my current situation. I'll mm -hmm. talk to y'all later. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. We already wrote notes for the podcast that we're about to shoot. And we're about to record. You ready? For the podcast? Yes. I got to get some of this posting done. But Posting for what? Um, all the social media stuff. I'm going to be talking a lot about... Um, for this podcast, artists, local artists that you can go out and see and support that and um, how that kind of relates to overcoming fear. Sure. So Lottie and I are doing a podcast based off of um, incorporating our separate creative journeys. So we're going to um, finish this creative process. Hey Gizmo. Thank you for the knee kiss. I've just been I've just been waiting for a knee kiss. You know, I was like, dang, where's Gizmo? I need my, my knees kissed. Knees. <laughs> knees gotta, gotta be She'll just kissed. like right on while I'm standing. She'll come and lick my ankle. I'm like, Gizmo. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses, pumpkin. Thank you for the kisses, pumpkin. Oh uh, no, dang it. <laughs> Go ahead, you got it. That's all she wanted was her toy. See, now she's gonna go about her day. You don't know what to do with yourself? You know if you wanna get down or stay up? All right. I'm getting back to work. Finally taking a moment to treat myself. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. So I have some lunch, some chicken, mashed potatoes, black eyed peas, a biscuit, and then I'm gonna watch some um, YouTube videos and get caught up on my watch later playlist. So, yeah. So I ended up laying down and taking a nap. This is like the, the final hours of my staycation. Um, I'm packing up my little bag with my laptop and whatnot, my resources, so I can go to my friends, get some editing done. Um, I guess overall thoughts of this staycation, I did exactly what I had planned, excluding plans that I added on last minute. I'm on this growth journey right now and I'm trying to change the course of my mindset and some mental barriers. That's my goal for 
my life deviating away from the traditional nine to five believing in myself and accomplishing accomplishing some goals and creating a new path so um i just woke up from a nap feeling really energetic so i'm about to go get some work done you ready to go for mommy yeah baby yeah baby is that gonna jump in? Uh oh. A lot of y'all understand my energy, so whenever I rant, y'all aren't like, Oh my god, what's wrong? Are you okay? Are you gonna be alright? Like, y'all understand, like, okay, some things have built up, and she's now letting it out. She gonna be alright. She a strong, independent black woman, but she has to let this out. We know she has a good heart. We know she's sweet, but she has to let this shit out. And so I appreciate y'all for understanding me. And those that know me, y'all know my heart. But sometimes it gets to the point where it's like built up, built up, same situation, 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 situation. And I'm like, okay, Dash can't fake this anymore. I'm just going to let it all out with a smile, you know? And so you just, I just get, I, I get hurt and damaged and beaten and broken. And so I guess I'm working on that. Not really, because I feel like negative energy is also healthy because you're supposed to let that out instead of keeping that in to let it ball up, you know? So... I love y'all truly for understanding and listening and commenting. But we've and got a podcast and yeah, you don't. We, Guess what? We've got a podcast and you don't. I don't want to make the Dash and Lottie. I'm sorry for his okay. behavior. Y'all can have whatever you want. Y'all can have whatever you want. Don't listen to him. He, we might have to talk in private. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. He said and you don't. We are not condoning that behavior. <laughs> Anyways, anyways. Kiss mouth, can I have a kiss? Kiss mouth. Can I have kisses? Can I have kisses? Okay, it's because I didn't come closer. She's like, are you going to come get them? Okay, I'm done. So I'm going to share this DM message with you guys real quick. And I'm not emotional because of this specific message. I'm emotional like as a whole because of just relationships with men that I just can't have for some reason. I was actually laughing at this message I'm about to show you because this is a guy that I think I worked with him, Cotton Patch, so keep in mind I was like 16, 17, so this is over a decade ago, okay? And I just remember him because he was he was a very, very handsome man, okay? But as soon as he spoke, it's like, mm. oh, you got tattoos on your face. So. The thing that irritates me the most is the fact that like and keep my i have not had like an adult serious conversation with a man like these 817 men it's just maybe it's me but it seems like every time the conversation kind of starts to like get serious and you talk about things you know about like our relationship and what we want and our goals they always have to joke and then when i try to like point it out they're just like oh i'm joking and then deviate away from the conversation completely so it makes me think that i'm a joke every time because it's always like oh i was joking these are things that have been ongoing okay this is just me bawling out about it because there was that little icing on the cake just now in my dms where it just doesn't make any mental sense so you can definitely see in that text message that that guy's mentally disconnected like a hundred percent but the dudes that i talk to they don't seem mentally disconnected they seem very aware and very intelligent so it just makes me wonder don't cover your face you whining because you want to sit in mommy's lap. You want to sit in mommy's lap? Come on, spoiled. Come on. Mm-hmm. 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 How you feeling? You feel better now? Don't huff your breath at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can act like this just didn't happen. My princess. You're all I need. Ooh, your breath smells like hot salmon. That's not cute. We're gonna have to do something about that. No, go poop if you have to go poop. I know, you hate the rain. Gizmo. Go ahead, baby, I'll wait for you. Go ahead. 
I know, it sucks. Oh, you're done? Is that your way of saying <laughs> no later? Go potty if you have to go poop. She's like, I'm not about that life. Okay, all right, okay, okay, all right. <laughs>